hi everyone welcome back so in my previous video i have taught you on the types of forces so in this video i'm going to help you identify the forces acting on the object so usually in forces and motion problems generally there are two basic steps the first one is you have to identify all the forces acting on the object which we'll be looking at now in this video and the next one is to use newton's law and kinematics to determine the motion this would be in our uh, third i mean fourth video sorry this would be our subtopic 4.2 all right this one we'll look at this later all right the first to identify forces okay the first thing you have to eat to do is identify the system and the environment okay what is the system the system is the object whose motion you wish to study environment is everything else right sorry i mean you wish to study my bad here all right all right so the system here is the object so usually system is the object environment is everything except for the object so you have to identify which one is your object first and then you have to draw a picture of the situation imagine the question show the object and everything in the environment touches the system all right for example let's say you have ropes wire surface all these are parts of the environment okay so you have to identify who are touching your objects here and then next draw a close curve around the object only the object is inside the curve everything else is outside so close curve maksudnya if you have an object here on the surface so draw a close curve in the object okay we are going to focus on everything inside the curve sahaja okay locate every points on the boundary of this curve where the environment touches the system okay so every point on the boundary where the environment touches we are going to locate them there are points where the environment exert forces on the object name and label each forces acting on the object there are at least one forces at each point of contact there may be more than one so we'll be looking at all these five steps as we do the question all right okay let's say you have a box of mass m moves with constant velocity v on a frictionless surface identify forces acting on the box so we want to identify the forces acting so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to refer to the table above tadi in the table above what was mentioned is first to identify the system and the environment system kita siapa environment kita siapa all right system here is a box okay dia kata a box of mass m moves with constant velocity on a frictionless surface so kita ada permukaan the permukaan here is the environment so now what are you going to draw what are you going to do is you're going to draw a picture of the situation imagine situasi itu ada surface and then ada object right so this one is your system this one is your environment dekat sini okay kita dah nampak system dan environment kita Okay, next what are we going to do is draw a closed curve around the object. So, kita nak lukis satu closed curve dekat sini. Okay, and then locate every point on the boundary of this curve where the environment touches the system. So, kita akan cuba identify lah. So, kita nak tengok pada tempat-tempat yang every boundary that environment touches. Kalau kita tengok satu je tempat yang environment touches the system iaitu dekat bahagian sini sahaja. Alright. Now we are going to name and label each forces acting on the object. So kalau kita tengok dekat sini, kita ada lima jenis forces. Okay, kita uh, kita recall balik. We recall, we are going to have five types of forces. The first one kita belajar adalah weight. And then kita ada tension. And then kita ada normal force. Frictional force. Dan juga external force. Ini lima force yang kita belajar. So let us look at the weight. Weight adalah sesuatu yang semua objek kena ada as long as dia ada mass dan juga dia berada dalam earth. Betul tak? So usually memang syllabus kita we are in the earth. Okay so confirm-confirm akan ada kita punya weight. And dia pun cakap a box of mass M. So ada mass. So kita akan ada weight. Weight is always directed downward. Betul tak? Always directed downward. So kita akan identify lah. Force pertama yang kita identify dekat sini adalah weight downwards direction 
Alright And then next Tension Tension Untuk ada tension You must have What? Apa yang kita kena ada? Apa yang kita kena ada? Kita kena ada Yes Kita kena either ada string Rope Ataupun wire Dalam kes ni We do not have anything So we do not have the presence of Tension dekat sini Sebab agent kita Tak wujud dekat sini Alright And then next Kita tengok pada normal force Normal force akan ada As long as There is Surface Touching the object So inilah surface yang tengah touch the object tadi tu Okay we have surface that is touching the object So you are going to experience normal force Which is always perpendicular to the surface 90 darjah daripada permukaan itu And then frictional force Frictional force agent dia dekat sini adalah Kena ada rough surface Alright rough surface Dan kalau kamu tengok dalam soalan dia kata Is placed on a frictionless surface Maksudnya permukaan kita tak ada friction So obviously tak ada force of friction juga Sebab dia dah cakap permukaan kita adalah frictionless Yang tidak ada friction And then external force is any push or pull in the object Do you have any push or pull in the object? Tak ada No You're not pushing or you're not pulling So kita ada dua jenis forces saja dekat sini This row Identify acting on the box Betul tak? The forces that is acting on the box adalah normal force dan juga weight Dua type of force Settle Alright Let us now look at the next question A box of mass MA Rest on a rough surface Inclined at theta To the horizontal It is connected by a light weight cord Which passes over a massless And frictionless pulley To second box of a mass M Which hangs freely as shown below The system is at rest. Identify all forces acting on MA and also M dekat sini. Dia kata the system is at rest. Secara keseluruhan, this whole system is at rest. Okay. Kalau kita tengok, kita ada dua objek. MA dan juga M. Alright. The first thing we do usually is we identify the system and the environment. As a whole, kita ada satu sistem. Tapi disebab kita ada dua objek, kita akan ambil dua-dua objek ini sebagai sistem kita, individual system. So, kita akan ada MA dan juga kita akan ada M dekat sini. Alright, kita ada dua jenis objek. So, kita ada dua small system here. Satu big system, gabungan dua-dua. Alright, environment adalah anything di luar kita punya sistem MA dan juga M ini. Alright, next apa kita nak buat adalah kita nak draw a picture. Picture dah diberi dalam soalan so it's not a problem. So next we are going to focus specifically on the object here. Kita fokus pada satu objek dulu, MA dulu. Dekat MA kita tengok apa forces acting on the MA. So kalau kita tengok dia tengah bersentuhan pada permukaan ini dan juga permukaan ini. Alright, kita ada boundary Environment touching the system These are the boundary that Environment touching the system Dekat sini Okay we are going to identify the forces We are going to start from the first one Iaitu weight itself Okay yes kita ada weight Sebab kita punya objek adalah Mass MA A box of mass MA So kita akan ada weight Weight sentiasa ke bawah So this is your weight force Downwards And the next kita belajar adalah Tension, betul tak? Tension kena ada kewujudan tali ataupun apa-apa saja. Dan dia cakap dalam soalan, it is connected by a light weight cord. Okay, so kita ada cord dekat sini yang connect kita punya objek dengan another objek dekat sini. So kita ada kewujudan tali dekat sini. So we are going to experience tensional force. Tensional force is always in the direction away from the object. So tensional force kita dialami dekat tali ini disebabkan objek ini ditarik guna tali. Alright, so kita ada tension away from the object and then apa lagi kita ada? Next kita belajar adalah normal force. Normal force akan wujud bila kita ada a surface touching another surface. So kita ada objek kita bersentuhan dengan permukaan ini. So you are going to experience normal force. Normal force perpendicular to the surface. Kena sentiasa 90 darjah daripada Permukaan kita Walaupunlah permukaan kita incline It doesn't matter as long as dia 90 degree to that surface Okay and then next kita belajar friction Friction untuk friction kena ada permukaan yang kasar So kita tengok balik pada soalan Adakah permukaan objek MA ini duduk Is rough ataupun smooth Ataupun frictionless Okay kita tengok 
a box of mass MA rests on a rough surface, inclined at an theta to the horizontal. So, dia kata permukaan ini adalah permukaan yang kasar. Kita ada rough surface. So, oleh sebab dia adalah rough surface, oleh sebab dia adalah rough surface dekat sini, so kita akan ada kewujudan friction. Okay, friction, direction of friction is always in the direction yang dia akan cuba untuk oppose any pergerakan pada sistem ini. Alright, dalam soalan dia kata the whole system is at rest. Secara keseluruhan semua ini tidak bergerak. So bila tidak bergerak, tak ada velocity dekat sini. So kita tahu we are talking about static friction dekat sini. Alright, static friction. Okay, how to determine the direction of the friction? Awak tengok pada objek kita. Objek is on an inclined surface. Bila dia berada pada inclined surface, awak rasa-rasa dia akan turun ke mana? I mean direction of motion dia ke mana? Dia akan naik ke atas atau dia akan turun ke bawah? Obviously it's going to slide down. Okay, mengikut pada posisi objek kita, kita tahu dia akan ada tendensi untuk slide ke bawah. Therefore, dia akan experience frictional force di antara surface dan juga objek ini in this direction. Okay, this would be our direction of the frictional force iaitu static frictional force. Alright, and then lastly kita belajar external force, any push ataupun pull. Tak ada any external force dekat sini, therefore itu saja forces yang kita ada. So, untuk MA kita ada weight, kita ada tension, kita ada normal force and kita ada static frictional force. So, kita ada empat forces acting on objek MA ini. Next, we are going to look at the next object kita iaitu M ini. Dia kata M is hanging across this cord. Okay, M is hang across this lightweight cord. Okay, kita akan start daripada paling basic. Weight. Do we have weight here? Okay, obviously we have weight dekat sini sebab objek kita ada mass M. So, kita akan ada weight pointed directly downwards. Kita ada weight. Okay, next kita belajar adalah tension. Tension untuk kewujudan tension kena ada tali ataupun dan seumpama dengannya. And yes, our object is hanging with the string here, with the cord here. So, kita akan experience tension away from the object. Tension away from the Objek, so ada tension And the next kita belajar adalah normal force Untuk experience normal force, objek kita kena bersentuhan dengan permukaan Ok, kalau awak tengok, objek kita Objek kita, dia hanya kontak dengan tali sini sahaja This is tali, this is not permukaan So, tak ada apa-apa permukaan yang objek kita sentuh di sekeliling ini So, there is no normal force Tak ada kewujudan normal force Alright And then, kita belajar friction Friction. Kalau tak ada surface, obviously lah kita tidak akan ada any friction. And then any external force, tiada juga. You are not exerting any pull ataupun push on the object. So, objek kedua kita, M ini, dia had, dia hanya mempunyai dua jenis force iaitu weight dan juga tension. Okay, are we good here? So, basically to conclude, apa yang kita kena buat adalah kita... Identify dulu siapa objek kita Boleh ada lebih daripada satu objek Macam dalam soalan B ni Boleh ada lebih daripada satu objek Look at the object individually Tengok pada setiap objek itu secara bersendirian Don't get confused Okay, tengok asing-asing Okay, satu objek dulu Cater one by one MA dulu And then cater M Tak ada masalah And then identify the forces acting on each object Alright, identify forces acting on each object Bila kita nak tengok, kita kaji balik. Kita start daripada kita belajar lima force. Kita start balik. Ada weight tak? Ada tension tak? Ada normal force tak? Ada friction tak? Ada external force tak? Kita kaji satu demi satu. Alright? 